Blog Talk Radio. Good morning. We have with us today Sean Kniff. He is the author of Etra the Cow, a new book that is very unique and getting some amazing critical acclaim. And we're so glad that Sean could join us this morning. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Barbara. Thank you for having me. Glad to have you here. So, Sean, Etra the Cow, first of all, is an unusual (laughs) title for an unusual kind of book. And so I think the most important thing is this. When when you tell people that you've written a book and they say, oh, great, what's your book about? What is it exactly that you tell them? Um, I tell them it's a book about a cow that's not really about a cow. So overall, it's a book about being shamed, being humiliated, and being fenced in and powerless over your life, kind of like a cow. So that's what the book is about. It's a metaphor or an allegory for for something larger, uh, something that a lot of people are experiencing nowadays. So what would drive me as a neurologist and television health journalist to write that? Um, I've been gainfully employed since I've been 12 years old, if you can imagine. I started mowing lawns, painting homes, delivering newspapers, delivering pizzas, busboy. I worked at a grill on college campuses. You name the menial job, I've done it. And I worked my way all the way up to being a neurologist. Then I got on to television help journalism career. I was very successful at that. But um, I was working, you know, never missed a day of work uh, for a major U.S. corporation. Um, times were tough. It was the recession of 2008, 2009, and I walked into work one morning and was handed my pink slip. And all of a sudden I found myself, uh, you know, behind the eight ball, the proverbial eight ball. Like, what am I going to do with my life? What am I going to do for a living? Uh, you know, how am I going to make ends meet? And, uh, you know, to find yourself scrambling for money after a lengthy career – um, was really humiliating, and I felt really disempowered because I'd never missed a day of work. I never met, got a negative review from anybody that I ever worked with at any point in my life. But to be that good and still be that out of control of a major aspect of your life, that's what prompted the story. That is really a great motivator for so many millions of Americans right now. And so you were in the middle of that, and you decided, I think I'll write a book. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I was driving home. There's a cow pasture, um, many cow pastures. You know, people don't think of cow pasture, cows when they think of Florida, which is where I live, or especially Miami. But they're, we're a major trading partner with Latin America in terms of cattle. So there's plenty of cattle around the Miami area. And I passed this one cow pasture to and from work every day. And on my way home, as I was driving with the termination papers in my passenger seat, I stopped, and for the first time, I took a good look at the cows, and I swear to God, one of those cows was looking back at me from outside the the barbed wire fence, and I just felt a connection. Like, that's how I felt. I felt powerless. I felt frustrated. I felt fenced in. We've become, as a society, increasingly defined by, quote, what we do, and when that is taken away from you, who you are actually becomes questionable, unless you're a really self-secure individual. Um, and I am self-secure, but that, you know all those types of things went down for me. I'm in a much better place, Barbara, than I was <laughs> when I wrote the book. Let me tell you, I, I think I think it's clear when people read Etra the Cow, the feelings that that I would have been experiencing. Uh, you can't miss them, um, and that's what Etra the Cow is about. That's what it's about. It's about what you know what to do with those feelings and then how you can understand them and then also how you can change them and what are some of the pitfalls and what are the possibilities of actually challenging your destiny and changing your fate. We are actually out of time, and I just want to thank you so much for sharing with us and wish you greatest success on your book. And com is where people can find out more information about it. Thank you so much, Sean. Thank you for having me, Barbara. Great talking to you.